So what happens when the self is absent? This. The self is absent and there is open space. And the only thing that separates the open space that already is from a contracted sense of self is these layers of conditioned assumptions and ideas. many of which are skillfully put in place so that we can undergo this journey of contraction and expansion. So the only role on the spiritual journey is to look at what might be my contractions. What might be my layers of assumptions and ideas that are preventing me from feeling absent like consciousness or mind is just open space without a sense of self, without a sense of others, without a sense of lack, just pure wholeness itself, just pure unconditional love. For the whole exploration. And many of those conditioned layers, our contracts that we created for ourselves are defended quite heavily by these fortress towers just shooting down self-inquiry. And that is why things like psychedelics are so powerful Because they take those rigid conditioned layers and they suspend them into open space. And that's called a glimpse. The absence of self mm. 
but it doesn't stay. And so the role of the spiritual seeker is to relentlessly decondition those assumed layers back into source, into open space, into love. And that is why it's said, die before you die. And know that there is no death. 